The next thing we want to talk about is this Imran Potato update. Wow. So Imran Potato showed or shared this particular image which features his own design or his own take on the legendary Prada America Cups. I think that's what they're called, right? Prada America Cup, I think so. I think that's the official name. But you guys will know what the Pradas are. We used to also wear them back in the day. I used to wear them as school shoes. And he's now made an updated version with an Air Force One sole. And I'm not going to lie, these look incredibly hard. Incredibly hard. So imagine the Prada America pup. Just imagine him on an Air Force One sole. And that's what you got here on the look. And if you know Man Potato, you know him for some of his other designs over the years. He did the rat shoes. He did the incredible collaboration with Vans. He... He did the foot shoes. He's done quite a lot of shoes over the years that people have liked. And he's a really, I think, a cool designer, does things interesting way. He's probably if I was gonna if I was gonna pick a designer who makes these like creative, cool, really fun, artsy, crafty type of style shoes that are kind of very out there and you know push the envelope and kind of test you in terms of what you want to wear and shit. I would go I would go over him. I would pick Imran Potato over fucking Mischief or Mis Mischief, sorry, Mischief, Mischief any day of the week, to be honest. Um, so this particular shoe, I'm not too sure when it's going to due to come out. The caption is, what do I call these? Or what do I call this shoe? And as you can see, it's a standard Prada America Cup. I think that's what it's actually called. Is it Prada America Cup? America's Cup. I think that's what it's called. America's Cup. Yeah. So those of you guys know these shoes. I used to wear them for school. Um, I never really liked the shape of them at the front. I'm not going to lie. I always felt like the, f the shape on the front was a little bit too pointy. So I actually do prefer this style where he's actually made them look a little bit more rounded and squared. Similar to an Air Force One. So I actually don't mind them. I'm not going to lie because the Proud America Cups that I know, they always have that really pointy, weird type of shoe shape at the front that always looks a bit weird when you're looking down. So I actually don't mind that he's decided to make them a little bit more rounded as an Air Force One shoe. So I actually like the shape of these. I like what they look like. I think they look fucking fantastic. What a cool, creative idea. I never would have thought of trying to put a Prada America Cup on top of a fucking Air Force One sole. It also goes to show you just how perfect that Air Force One shape is. The Air Force One shape is the quintessential perfect shape that fits most shoes, that fits most styles, that fits most clothes, trousers, whatever. So I think that's why people love to use it as a template, similar to like the dunks and shit. But that's such a clever idea to do, honestly. Very, very clever. Um, I hope they'll be quite light. And um, they're made up of patent as well. So you have here an all a patent um, version, classic kind of a proud America cup with a mesh. You've also got um, one in yellow with some white. You also got one with purple with some white, grey, white, or grey with grey, and that is it, of course. And of course, he's he's wearing one of the best ones. He's wearing he's wearing one of the best colours, which is this blue one. If I was gonna get a pair, it definitely would be oh maybe actually maybe these three. Oh, I'd get these three. There's an all white pair. There's a blue pair with the with the classic um silverish grey white mesh that you know of, and then of course the all black pair. And then where it's meant to say Prada, he's made it say Potato, right there on the strap. They look fucking banging though, man. I'd wear the hell out of these so badly. Again, because I said, I love the Proud of America's Cup, but I always thought the shape was a bit annoying. Um, we used to wear them in school to stunt back in the day and kind of flex to your friends. Like, oh shit, he's wearing these shoes to school. All black ones, of course, most of them were fake. They were bought from fucking Dawson Market back in the day. But you loved wearing them, being in school and then walking in front of people and seeing the little red thing there because people knew straight away those were Pradas. So people will fucking be happy with you that, or people will be shocked that you had them because you're in school and you're fucking getting, you know, EMA. So how the fuck could you afford these? But they were still fucking sick to wear. I fucking loved them. I really did love my Proud America's Cup. And I also like the fact that he switched up the laces too. So on the Proud America's Cup, they have these laces where it's kind of, I guess it's an updated version, but on the ones that I remember wearing, the laces were kind of done inside. They're on the inside. So they have these lace loops. So they're kind of invisible from the side. But he's just taken regular eyelets and put the laces on there. So a little bit more similar to like a regular sneaker. And I think they fit a little bit better. They drop a bit. So you can have these like thicker type of style of lacing and shit. And the, and the tongue also is kind of thin as well. So it's a really cool design. I don't, I'm not going to lie. This this hybrid or this, this genre of designers online who basically take, you know, Nike silhouettes and edit them to make their own little trainer. Whether it's like adding a dice high rollers wherever they are I, I kind of i'm a little bit cold on them um the cool kicks or the cool kai kicks or whatever that guy's name is and shit but when they do stuff like this like these like really weird frankenstein hybrids where they combine two of the most popular 
men's silhouettes and sneakers ever in the history of time in Air Force One and the Prada's America's Cup, you can't go wrong. So I love these shoes. I think they look fucking fantastic and I'd wear the hell out of both of them. I would wear the hell out of both of them and I can't wait for them to finally come out super, super, super soon, I'm assuming, because of the hype of people wearing buying them there. Let's check through the comments what people are saying about them. Um, people are saying copyright infringement ones. Someone says, um, as a name, dog bit someone's whole shoe design. Someone says stolen design, call it that. So, um, Brendan from Complex says America's Forces. Dumb, gay, lame. Another one says the the Improders. I like that name actually. Another one says call them too real. Another one says potato cups. And I like that name too. Another one says those Prada. Um, not those potatoes. I love that name. Another guy says, um, did this take three years ago? Did this did this like three years ago? Don't drop this shoe. Oh, shut up, this person. Another one says, rip that shit straight from Momo Mama, Zarati. We don't care about Momo Zarati. We care about Potato. Um, so embarrassing. How do we feel? You stole the idea. Okay, cool. We don't care. Everything's stolen. Even the person that did this idea, he stole it because this is not an original shoe. This is a Proud's America Cup on top of a fucking Air Force One. Everyone shut the fuck up and get over it. Um, put yours into manufacturing then be fair to put into manufacturing stop being a baby anyway regardless love the shoe fucking looking just fantastic i can't wait to get a pair when they eventually drop i can't wait to get a pair when they eventually drop when they eventually drop